I believe that everyone has at least one great story to tell. Maybe it's that story you tell everyone the first time you meet them. Or maybe it's a story that you don't tell anyone until you know you can absolutely trust them with your life. Maybe it's a story of the most horrific night of your life. Maybe it's a thrilling adventure story. Maybe it's a story you made up and it was a lie to begin with. But over the years, as you've told it time and time again, it's become the truth. Whatever that story is to you, I'm here to find out. I'm Travis Tidmore, and this is my best story. This season on My Best Story. He turns and there's Aaron Spelling. I had read his biography already. I had interviewed him on the phone several times and I guess he had remembered that I was so effusive. Anyway, my grandparents saw that and they were like, huh, I, I hope somebody's gonna help him. And so the next day, they'd been thinking about it all night and my grandfather said to my grandmother, hey, why don't you call CBS and just see uh, if anyone's helping that kid out. Certainly there's a lot of people doing it. And my grandparents are the sort of people like many people's parents are who are like, especially around comedy, like, why don't you just go ask SNL for a job? Why don't you merely just show up at Facebook and they'll give you something? So the idea that they would be like, we'll simply call the CBS number and somebody will answer our questions. Uh, and so I was like, you know what? Like Bear Grylls always like, he said like you need your vitamins and your minerals right but like i feel like he always said that if the water is moving it's fine to drink am i wrong like <laughs> it's not i don't safe think to that's drink. correct i don't think it's that's not correct. i don't know <laughs> i was thirsty um so we so i'm like you know what we're out of water i'm gonna drink this water i don't know what i'm supposed to do i'm gonna drink this water <laughs> And so I stoop down and I'm just like filling up my water bottle and I'm drinking this water and it's like super cold. It's crisp. I feel like it's like everything that Dasani wishes it was. I tell it and about halfway into it, I realize that I'm just flatlining. It's like they are so mortified <laughs> and I can't, I can't back out of it. Like I can't, and I can't soft pedal it. I can't be like, oh, and, and so I had to commit to just finishing the story. And I've never felt so alone and so stranded than, <laughs> and their faces, just the disgust and horror. So that's, that's, that's my Star Trek Voyager story.